NAS Pensacola is reopening to civilian visitors after nearly three years, but only to certain areas. The seven day access won't officially start, though, until May 17th. Visitors got to preview it, though, today. Fox News' Dacia Smith visited the National Aviation Museum earlier, one of the sites available again to visitors. Dacia's just a lot of folks excited to be back aboard the air station, right? That's right, some people I spoke to were actually making their very first trip to NAS Pensacola, and they say it's a trip they've been waiting years to make. In just a couple of weeks, NAS Pensacola will allow seven day access to visitors for the first time since the deadly 2019 terrorist attack. I can't believe it's been closed this long. Before then, the base is allowing visitors to check out the Barrancas National Cemetery, the Pensacola Lighthouse, and the National Naval Aviation Museum as part of two public access weekends. I drove nonstop nine hours. <laughs> just to stand here and talk to you and, and spend my day in the uh, museum. It was thanks to weekends like these that NAS Pensacola was able to prove they had the right security measures in place and get the green light to reopen. Definitely great security measures coming on board, so you know, I feel perfectly safe here, safe and great. Some visitors say it's been a long awaited trip. We've come down every year on vacation. And unfortunately, you know, we never got to come until this time. We moved down here about five years ago and didn't make it over before it closed down. First time visitors say they're glad to finally see the museum firsthand. I had never seen the planes up this close and I've always wanted to see the Blue Angels. While others are glad to finally be back on base for the first time in years. I served in aviation for all four years of my service. So uh, a lot of the artifacts here are very important to me. It's really special. I think as a kid, I just liked how the planes look, but now I can just appreciate like the evolution over the decades and stuff. And all of today's visitors say they're glad they'll be able to do this more often. When our kids come down, they keep they ask, is the base open yet? Can we go over to the museum? And now we'll be able to say yes. Now, if you didn't get a chance to go to the base today, NAS Pensacola is still allowing visitors tomorrow through Sunday, as well as next Thursday through Sunday from 9 to 3. Just remember to go through the West Gate. Seven day access does reopen on May 17th. Live in Pensacola, Jason Smith, Fox 10 News.